So welcome back everyone to the Pyro Bengal channel. I have bought certain chemicals for manufacture of golden octopus shell and some um, shells which I regard of the red and green type. I will also manufacture certain flares for my parachute rockets. So I got this from my native place that's West Bengal. <coughs> I won't mention the places from where I have procured these items but yeah these things are readily available you just need to find the correct way to get them. So let's have a quick check of the chemicals which I have procured. First of all it's potassium nitrate, potassium nitrate I have got over here 1.5 kgs it's of the PCI RD mech. Uh, it came for about rupees 200 per kilogram, here's another oxidizer. <coughs> It came for rupees 120 per kg. It's barium nitrate. I will use this for my coating golden octopus compositions and also for the green compositions mainly. Okay, I have got uh, strontium nitrate. It's 100 grams only. I have got a few hundred grams left. I didn't buy too much of it. It came in handy. I don't remember the exact price, but it's somewhere around rupees 270 to 350 per kg. 350 kgs, I guess. Okay, I got this thing for the um, first time. These are ready-made crackling, you know, micro stars. They come quite cheap for the quality. They are about rupees 120 per 100 grams. Very stable ones. They don't readily ignite. They need a very good coating and explode with a sharp sun. Oh yeah, what do we have got over here? These are a feet. Uh, in length visco fuses the red ones these are the ones which are imported from china they sell it for rupees 7 a single strand i have got about um, seven of these over here <coughs> well we have got something which we call the dhoka powder or the indian magnalium we have, we have got about um, 300 grams of Indian Magnalium or Dhoka powder over here. This comes handy about uh, 700 rupees a kg. This is a dark Magnalium. It comes for about rupees 900 a kg. I have got 200 grams of it. Enough to make, uh, you know, about... How much shall I say? For any standard red or green composition, it's enough to uh, make, you know, about 500 grams of raw stars even more 700 grams i guess well this is the mepco pyro aluminium powder i'm not opening this package right now it's uh, i can see it's uh, <coughs> already leaking a little it came at about rupees uh, 700 per kilogram it's usually for the blasting powder and the lifting charge for my flash lifted shells well here is pvc i don't remember the exact price but it was it was quite cheap it was quite cheap i would say i got about 300 grams of pvc over here well as you can see it's sulfur sulfur also comes cheap sulfur came in at rupees uh, 80 per kilogram we call it hawa gondhok that means it's uh, you know it's some whiter form of uh, sulfur which is you know possessing l uh, more volume per <coughs> unit weight that means it's very very less dense which makes it easy for uniform distribution in fiber compositions coming to the further chemicals well what we have got over here well this is dextrin this is the white dextrin you can bake it to make a yellow version or this one is actually very good you know for uh, white why shall I say white for colored star compositions like red, green, yellow, anything? I'd be making my golden, oh, sorry, I would be making my sunrise yellow stars using this white disc. That's why I procured this one. This came at rupees 12 per 100 grams. This is my ferro titanium or titanium, what you must say. Uh, it comes costly about 220 rupees per 100 grams. I have got about 150 grams of it. That's enough to make a kilo of golden octopus stars, even more. Okay, 
This one is air float charcoal. Uh, they also call it the Chinese charcoal or the Madras charcoal. It comes at rupees one twenty to one fifty per kilogram. I have got one kilo of that, and I have got another kilo of what they call the chalu koila or the you know uh, a less fine version of charcoal. It's more suitable for making these dark compositions and in what can you say in black matches etc but this one my friend this one is actually good for making gunpowder it's also very good in making this type of coatings i use this for my spoolets and for my rockets so that's all i think you have enjoyed my video if you have enjoyed please do like and subscribe my channel and please tell me in the suggestions or in the comment section uh, what type of video you want to see at at present i have only these chemicals i have been making some shells and it becomes very difficult for me to you know film i am filming this holding my phone in <coughs> one hand i have no one to make a video of it but still i try i try to make as much videos and content for my subscribers so please uh, try to guide me in what are your requirements i'll just try to improve the quality of my videography and get back to you anytime soon Thanks a lot. Have a great time. Bye.